Um, for anyone who's not familiar with Sales Navigator, again, you're gonna need to upgrade to this for any of these um, tactics. But once I'm in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Advanced and I'm gonna search for leads up here. And I wanna show you guys some of the cool tricks uh, just that you may not be familiar with with LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which is gonna help you put together really advanced search queues. Uh, so for this example, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look and let's say I am targeting New York City and I'll target that as my location. And I'm gonna basically put together a search queue focused on management consulting firms, uh, basically in the range of uh, 10, 11 to 50 employees. And I wanna look at the partners and the founders of these. So the next thing I'll do is I'll come down here and I'm gonna go down to the company headcount. And you'll see you can filter by all different sizes here with this company size. And let me actually zoom in here, make it a little bigger. And so I'm gonna say I'm gonna target you know, 11 to 50 management and industry. I'm gonna to go to management consulting. And so I can basically kind of get, get a bit more narrow here. So now we've got a New York City, 6.8 thousand people that work at management consulting firms um, in that 11 to 50 size. Now let's say that I wanna get more specific and I wanna go after just the founders. So this is a really cool thing is that, um, you know, I could just type, type founder here, um, but one of the really cool things you can do with LinkedIn is you can do what's called a Boolean search. And so uh, what I can do here is I can do founder in quotes and you'll see I have a parentheses. And then in all caps, I can say, or principal or um, uh, CEO or chief, executive officer, and I can basically kind of create this. And so I, and I put an in parentheses there at the end. <laughs> and what that does is that's gonna kind of basically search for all of those different titles. Um, and so it's a really interesting way where you can kind of build these. And the, another cool thing you can do is say, let's say we want not, you can put a not here and say, I don't want their assistant or anyone with a sales title. And so you can use this not keywords here. Um, another one you can do is and, um, which is also often very useful if I were to say, I wanted to target a um, you know, vice president titles and marketing um, and, and anything like that. So these Boolean searches, um, you can do some Googling around for some more kind of detailed training on this, but they're super powerful in terms of just giving you the exact types of prospects. So you'll see now I'm down to 1.1 thousand prospects and we're basically looking at the founders and the CEOs of these management consulting firms of this 11 to 50 person size in New York City. Um, and again, you can then target second and third just to make sure that we don't target anyone that we actually know. So um, again, that's just kind of some tips. Um, other cool thing we could do, we could go up here and we could put a Boolean here and let's say we wanna go after healthcare and, or, or sustainability. And we target those two specific ones we're now looking at these are people that have healthcare or sustainability somewhere in their profile. Uh, I have to be a little cautious with these because this could pull, if they used to work at a healthcare company, it's pulling any keyword anywhere from their profile. Um, but you see it does can get us a little bit more interesting or you know, a bit lower. So if you look at a, you know, maybe like a, <coughs> um, a chain or current trend like blockchain, you, know, you can get really targeted. And now we have these you know, 20 people who are interested in blockchain which is this new uh, emerging trend that are management consulting in New York City. So um, very cool stuff you can do with that. You can get really focused with this. Um, I love doing things if you have a trend like this, or I've done this with like design thinking or um, other kind of cryptocurrency or other trends. Um, what you can do in that first message then is say, hey, I saw you noticed you were also interested in blockchain, thought I'd reach out to connect. <clears throat> and those convert really high um, just because it feels even more personalized. Um, because the person looks and notices that they had, you know, some sort of interest in this technology in their profile. Um, so again, those are a few quick tips. Um, let me know if anyone has any other questions, and I'm happy to dive into some sales navigator tricks more. But um, super powerful tool. That's just kind of a quick overview. Uh, there's a lot more you can do, and even more filters. But that's just kind of a quick overview on some of the kind of 80/20s of how to use sales navigator really effectively. All right, I'm gonna dive back in now and I'm gonna show you our next tactic here, which is all about how to ramp up traffic. So for actually both of the tactics, that sales navigator stuff I showed you is really powerful. Um, but in this tactic, uh, I'm gonna show you specifically how to ramp up traffic. 
So basically what we use at uh, Lead Cookies, we use this tool called Duck Soup. And this is a, a tool where basically there's a lot of ways you can use it and you have to be careful. Um, but there is, um, because again, if you flag LinkedIn's limits or you aren't using this tool and then you just ramp it up really quickly overnight, um, you could kind of tweak LinkedIn or kind of freak them out. So what you wanna do is again, ramp this up slowly. But um, what we use this tool for is basically to ramp up traffic to your profile. So basically we'll set this to go visit 500 profiles of your target customers each day. And so what this looks like is we build a search queue here in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. <clears throat> and then you have, Google, you have Duck Soup installed as a Google Chrome plugin. And what it'll do is it'll go and it'll just visit 500 profiles each day. So uh, we don't use the tools. You can have it send connection requests. You can have it like things or endorse. And we don't use any of those features because I don't think that those are ideal. But what we do it for is just these profile visits where it's going to go and just visit their profiles. And so you might ask, okay, why would I want to just go visit 500 profiles per day? And pretty simply what happens is if you do this, then in the, basically you're going to visit 2,500 profiles each week. And what happens is you start to show up in this who's viewed your profile section on LinkedIn. And so you've, if you've been on LinkedIn, you've probably seen these notifications uh, and gotten these before where you know, it says so-and-so viewed your profile. <clears throat> and when you go click this, what happens is it pulls up this little screen here where you can basically see these people's names. And right here, you're gonna notice uh, basically that uh, they have their tagline here. And this is, again, is an, a perfect example of a tagline that doesn't tell me anything. He's a senior center uh, enterprise sales executive at Signal, but I don't know what Signal is. So again, making these benefit-oriented taglines, something that's gonna hook you and make you interested. As a result, some people will see this, they click through your profile and they add you as a connection. And typically what we see if we're running that and we're doing those uh, 500 profile visits each day is we're going to run five, we're going to see somewhere between five to 30 inbound connection requests per week. So it's really intriguing. Um, and you basically, you're having these people that are now reaching out to you and adding you as a connection. And basically what we'll do is when we see those connections come through, we'll say, hey, thanks for reaching out to connect. I was browsing your website and noticed you know, X, Y, and D. So we'll try to personalize it a little bit and actually do some research if they look like a good lead. And then I'd ask, you know, can I ask why you added me as a connection on LinkedIn? And so it's an interesting way to frame this because they've added you now. So you're kind of, um, they've taken this first action. Now I'm just asking, you know, why have you added me on LinkedIn? Uh, and basically it's turning that conversation that way. And so it's an interesting one. And what we typically find is you don't get as many leads through the stuck soup or the traffic tactics. But a lot of times your higher quality leads will come here because someone has basically kind of come almost as an inbound lead where your niche and your value proposition has resonated with them enough to add you as a connection. So again, super powerful tactic. If doing the connection requests and the drip messages is too overwhelming for you, uh, this tactic is something you can run literally just a few minutes a day, just setting this up, uh, auto turning on duck soup and just having it run while you're not there. Um, is a super powerful way to just get leads. And this was actually the first tactic I ever did with LinkedIn outreach. And so it's been, it was super powerful and where I first started seeing leads convert. And then eventually I added the connection requests and saw that that added even more firepower to it.